Hey, Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, November 22nd, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across, bottom of a shoe. That's definitely the sole. Let's see if we can build off of that. Living room seat. It's got to be the sofa. Iridescent gem. Maybe that's an opal. Meathead. I think another word for a meathead could be a lout. Abbreviation before a date on a business shingle. Um, well, it might have the date the business was established. Is that a stab, maybe? What is OPOS, though? That looks a little weird. Work by a composer. Yeah, that should probably be an opus, like a magnum opus, right? So maybe it's not a lout. Um, hmm. What is this down here? Corrosive substance. It's not an acid? Interesting. Corrosive substance. Maybe it's an alkali? That's also a corrosive substance. That's in batteries and stuff. You can see that in effect when a battery starts to leak. Okay, so maybe this is a lunk instead of a lout. There we go. Excellent. All right, let's take a peek at this first really long grid spanning answer here. This is probably our first theme answer. Pastime for armchair sports enthusiasts. That has to be fantasy football, right? You can kind of build your own fantasy football teams. Okay, well, that's a good start. I'm still not sure exactly what kind of theme we have today. It might be sports related. Grad could be an alum, like an alumna or alumnus. Um, question to a suspected culprit. Could that be, was it you? <laughs> I'm sure they'll tell you if it was. Popular acne medication. I think that's Oxy. Starts up again as a computer. That has to be reboots, right? So maybe it's not fantasy football. Maybe it's fantasy baseball. Ooh, that's exciting. Baseball is definitely more my sport. If we had a baseball theme today, that would be great. Had on could be war. Skating leap is an axle. Yeah, you could do like a triple axle. Okay, we should put in reboot. Actually, it should be reboots because the clue is in the present tense, starts up again. They have to match, okay. Pal of Jerry on Seinfeld, that's definitely Elaine. Elaine Bennis. Speak indistinctly? <laughs> Would that be slur? Maybe if you've had a few too many holiday spirits. Okay. Exxon Mobil's business is oil, yes. Primate with no tail, that would be an ape. Just like us, we're primates with no tails. Talks on and on, could that be gabs maybe? And others, abbreviated. This is a Latin phrase. The abbreviation for it is et al. The full phrase is et ali or et alia. It depends on the gender of the people you're referring to. You'll usually see this in a footnote. It'll be next to like a paper you're referencing. It'll be Smith et al. It just means Smith and others wrote this paper. Yeah, this shows up on the crossword all the time. Okay, insurance worker. That could be an agent. Outdoor party locale should definitely be a patio toy that goes up slow and comes down fast. That's a sled, a very seasonally appropriate sled. River on which Cleopatra cruised, that's the Nile. Yeah, she was in Egypt and couldn't keep a secret told. Very good. All right, what is this? Clothes as a jacket, button up. Yeah, it's getting cold out there. All right, I have a feeling this maybe is going to be our next theme answer. Let's see if we can find if it has anything in common with this first theme answer, fantasy baseball. Unidentifiable protein. Um, well, I think that should be mystery meat, maybe? 
And look at this. The first words in both of these clues are fantasy and mystery. I wonder if we're going to have fiction genres as our theme today, like genres of novels. Let's see if that's right. Ruler in pre-communist Russia, that would be czar. Heap for burning, could that be a pyre? Kind of like a funeral pyre, maybe? Not just a few, could be many. Come next. Would that be ensue? <laughs> like panic ensued, maybe? One who's 18 or older, that would be an adult, in the United States at least like an impatient and competitive personality. Oh, we just saw this on yesterday's puzzle. That's type A. Yeah, you're very driven. Lustful informally, Randy. What a fun clue there. It's a spicy clue for this Monday puzzle. Finally starts talking. Could that be opens up? Maybe if you're telling a secret. Okay, so let's get this section over here next. Sightseeing on wheels. Is that a bus tour, maybe? That seems pretty good. Maybe we can build off of this B here. Instruction for a violinist. Interesting. I wonder if it's going to be bow at the end, maybe? Like, use your bow somehow? It might be in, like, French or Italian, though, so I'm not sure what this is going to be. Dehydrated plum is a prune. Things weighed against benefits? Well, you usually have like a pro and con list, right? What would you weigh against benefits? Hmm, like minuses? I'm not sure about this one. Let's see if we can get this short one here. What a grocery scanner scans for short. That would be the UPC, right? The barcode? Maybe this is costs. Yeah, costs and benefits. Okay. They're paid to play. I guess that would be pros. Yeah, like professional baseball players, they're paid to play. Okay. Uh, is it up bow? Like draft beers. Draft beers are kind of on tap by definition. Okay. Um, and is this a W? This should be our next theme answer, right? This should be a genre of some kind. Holy sight in Jerusalem. Well, Western is a kind of genre, right? And there's the Western Wall, I think, in Jerusalem, right? Very nice. We've got our third genre here. Yeah, so I guess these could be like book or film genres. I guess it could go either way. International group that has no members in Europe or North America. And the answer is going to be abbreviated because there's an abbreviation in the clue here, international. I think this is going to be OPEC. That's kind of like the oil cartel, right? Hairstylist fancily? A fancy word for a hairstylist. I don't know if I know this one. College military program? Again, we're going to have an abbreviated answer. Maybe that's ROTC. That's kind of like the military program. Most pleasant? So this is going to be a superlative answer because it's asking for the most something. So the end is probably going to end in EST. It's probably nicest. Let's see if we can confirm that here. School in Fort Worth. Again, another abbreviation. Um, Fort Worth is in Texas, right? I don't know. I wonder. I would want this to actually be Texas State University, TSU. I'm not sure if that's a real school. I'm not great with colleges. Hmm. I wonder about nicest. Maybe this is coiffeur. <laughs> that is a very fancy name for a stylist. Yeah. Somebody that does your coif. That's really funny. Okay. In a terrible way. So this is looking for an adverb. I think it's going to be awfully. Very good. Okay. Minnesota's St. Blank College. I haven't heard of this, but I'm going to guess it's Olaf. I mean, the Midwest was settled by a bunch of Scandinavians, so a Scandinavian college name is not super surprising. Baby Cobra comic Wong. I think that's Ali Wong, right? She's kind of like a comedian actress. 
enter en masse as a car. That would be pile into, right? Very nice. Where inhaled air goes, that would go into your lung, right? Find a second function for, would that be reuse? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah, that's the middle term in the waste reduction slogan. Excellent, okay. Um, maybe we should take a peek at this last grid spanner here. This is gonna be either another genre or it might be a revealer. Let's take a look here. Spanish or French, but not German. Well, Spanish and French are based on Latin and that would make them both a romance language. Very nice. Okay, romance is our last genre. Very good. All right, creature that goes ribbit. That would definitely be a frog. Okay. Run easily. Run easily. Hmm. Like an engine? Old glory for one. That's a flag. That's the American flag. I wonder if this is going to be lope. That's a word to describe someone running. Let's see if we can confirm that. Tosca or Turindo. Are those operas? That would make sense. And it's opera singular because they're asking for one or the other. If it was Tosca and Turindo, the answer would have to be operas plural. Okay. Oh, we've got a revealer here. What the start of 17, 29, 45, or 61 across is in a bookstore. Okay, they are books. It's confirmed for books. Okay, we're going to have our genre answer here. Excellent. Yeah, we had that one pegged. Very good. All right, that gives us amen, an equivalent phrase for you said it, brother. When they have quotes in the clue like this, that means they want an equivalent phrase for you said it, brother. All right, is this Terry Gar, actress Terry? Yeah, she was in Young Frankenstein. Okay, Scottish negative, that would be nay, yes member of a DC squad. I think this is gonna be Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and it's gonna be her initials because there's initials in the clue DC. The abbreviation of DC gives you that clue there. Okay, AOC and then this is slot, opening for a coin. Yeah, like in an arcade. And then Tickle Me Elmo Maker once, Tycho, yeah. Tickle Me Elmo was one of our theme answers on our request themed puzzle a little while ago, right? Nice to see him crop back up. Okay. The very idea, another equivalent phrase. Um, so this is going to be kind of a pearl clutching phrase or a scandalized phrase. I think I never works very well here. I never. Maybe they're very scandalized about this Randy answer up here. Okay. Colorado skiing mecca, I think that's Vale. Objects in an Easter hunt are definitely eggs. And then this looks a little weird. Speak to a deaf person in a way. That should be sign, right? Oh, did I spell Vale wrong? Is it like this? Yeah, let's put in sign. And then it looks like otherwise should be else, right? And then this is Renee. Surrealist Magritte. Yeah, Rene Magritte. Yeah, he did the um, man with the bowler hat with the apple in front of his face and a bunch of different other iconic surrealist paintings. Excellent. All right, let's throw that E in there and see if that does it for us. All right, that was a nice brisk Monday puzzle, 19 minutes. This was a perfect Monday theme. We had four kind of everyday phrases that had a little something in common. Their first words could all be different genres of novels that you might find in a bookstore. Very good, just a little something to tie everything all together. Um, I'm just noticing this entry actually. I don't think we looked at this. What is this? Group that extends from Canada to Chile. Ooh, this is actually pretty tough. I think this has shown up only once before this year. I don't even remember what this stands for. It's like Organization of American States or something like that. I think it's like a democracy promoting group. Yeah, that's a tough one for a Monday actually. And then what did this end up being? TCU. Ooh, I don't know this either. Texas something university? Boy, there were some tough organizations on the puzzle today. But as far as the rest of the fill goes, I really liked coiffeur. That's really funny. A fancy hairstylist. 
And I also really liked this I never in response to a Randy clue earlier in the puzzle. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this Monday trip to the bookstore with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.